Heidi ho, neighbors. I've been on YouTube watching videos. Imagine that. Instead of watching videos of random shit, and I got to watching videos about exhaust systems, people showing their exhaust systems. I myself have one showing the pussy exhaust on my station wagon. And I noticed something that made me laugh. A couple of things, actually. People are dumping the exhaust system at the rear axle. The turn down, just dumping it out there. And that's stupid. I'll tell you why that's stupid. Because when you dump it right there, you're killing the back pressure that tailpipes were supplied or added. And you need back pressure. <clears throat> if you're building a car and you want to feel the acceleration when you mash on the pedal, what you're feeling is torque. Back pressure helps create torque. I used to work in an exhaust shop for 10 years. I still do off and on when they need help. They call me, I come up there and help. When I'm not playing music. An exhaust system <clears throat> with full tailpipes makes about 10% more horsepower than an exhaust system with dumps. Well, not horsepower, but power period, torque. Put it that way. And I know it's the cool thing to do, to dump it down behind, right in front of the rear axle so you can hear it resonate up into the cab of the vehicle and it just sounds super cool and all of a sudden you're super cool and you got women throwing pussy at you left and fucking right because you hear your exhaust system better in the car. whoop de do. You can do that if you want to, I'm just telling you, you know, I'd rather have the extra horsepower or extra power from having tailpipes than turn it down building to hear it better. Plus, tailpipes give you a better sound, in my opinion. It gives you more of a chambered sound because the sound is then echoing through a pipe, a length of pipe before it exits. exits and it gives it almost like an echo, a transparent, chambered echo sound, which is why a 5-liter Mustang sounds so fucking good with Flowmasters on them with the fucking tailpipes. Another thing... I find hilarious is how everybody has a three inch exhaust system, three inch duals. Now, if you run a single exhaust, three inch would be fine on your stock truck, but on your 04 Chevy Silverado, true three inch duals is doing nothing but killing your low end torque. You're not going to have as much power, it's, it's going to be a slug. And if you claim you gain, you feel more power and it runs better with that on there, then you're retarded. You're just fooling yourself. It's on your head. It's psychological or something. The only way you'd need true three inch duels is if you're running upwards of 600 horsepower, which I doubt you're doing with a late model pickup truck with a stock motor in it. You're wondering, well, how do you know all this? You're a know-it-all. You're always making videos telling people what's right and what's wrong, blah, blah, blah. Well, it's because I, I guess it's because uh, I'm kind of a nerd. I study shit. I look shit up. I have nothing else to fucking do. I play music for a living. Uh, nights when I don't play, I'm bored, so I get on the fucking computer. I look shit up. Random fucking shit. I might want to know about something one day, so I look it up and find out all fucking all about it, you know? I mean... Do some research and you'll find out everything I'm saying is true. Which is one, tailpipes can make 10% more power than dumps. Uh, you don't need 3 inch dual exhaust unless you're running upwards of 600 horsepower. Matter of fact, you can run 500 horse motors on a single 3 inch exhaust. I mean, hell, NASCAR, they're making motors pumping out 700 horsepower, 750 horsepower. And I guarantee you, the pipe looks big because it's. Smushed down to an oval shape like that. But I guarantee you, 
and that pipe is no bigger than two and a quarter inches. They're running high RPM, high power, horsepower motors. And the final thing that made me laugh, she was talking about, I put high flow, magna flow, catalytic converters on my truck, and now it sounds great and runs better. It's all in your fucking head. Let me tell you why. There's only two or three places that make catalytic converters. Magnaflow buys plain old converters from one of the manufacturers and they slap their heat shield on it that says Magnaflow. There's no such fucking thing as a high flow catalytic converter. They're all designed the same as that. You take the so called high flow and a regular converter and you hold them up and look through them, it's the fucking same. The honeycomb and the high flow is no bigger than the honeycomb and the regular. You're wasting money by paying for something that has Magnaflow's name on it. They just call it High Flow so they can sell that product. I mean, shit. They're making money off of people being gullible. People ordering the sunny H pipes and X pipes. What makes Vasani so much better than the one that can be fabricated in your local muffler shop? Because there's a bunch of muffler shops now that are capable of doing Android mint pipes. So, if you're just paying for a high dollar for the name, just because it says Vasani on it, make, make it any better. Seems you people have gone retarded. But, uh, yeah, that's it for now. I like ranting about shit. I like telling people they're wrong. No, I'm just kidding. I just like to let people know, educate people so they don't go out there and waste their fucking money. And I don't realize most of the people that's wasting their money on that shit are young kids. I don't think it's cool. Anyway, I'm up to seven minutes and nine seconds now, ten seconds. It's going to take forever to upload this fucking video. So I'm going to leave it at that. Remember what I said. Your car run better. Follow some simple instructions. That's all for now. Bye.